G'day, thanks for coming today. Uh, first thing I wanted to show you was a bit of an overview of the interface of ProPresenter. Uh, so let's get on with that now. First of all, you'll notice uh, when you open up ProPresenter, uh, everything that you need to access pretty much is on the screen uh, ready for you to go. Um, what I plan to do now is walk through all of the sections that you see uh, and just briefly explain what they do. Okay, so starting in the top left here, uh, we have the preview window. This preview window will give you a visual representation of anything that's currently being fired onto the projector screen. Uh, so this is basically just to give you, uh, as the operator, feedback to uh, be able to tell what's on the screen without having to look up at the actual projectors. Underneath that, we have three tabs. We have the library. Inside the library, uh, is every song that I've ever entered into ProPresenter. It also contains uh, notice slides, which you can see there. Uh, also some liturgy. Um, yeah, basically anything uh, that doesn't fall into the other categories in the other tabs here, which we'll move on to now. The second tab along is the Bible tab. Uh, you'll see in here that this is where you can store uh, Bible verses to be displayed on the screen. Uh, we'll go into that in more detail later on today. The next one along is the media tab. If we have a look in there you'll see that uh, we keep videos um, and other media in here for storage within ProPresenter. Uh, in order to uh, use these uh, all you have to do is select one. So we'll select this atonement one and you'll see over here that uh, it shows you a slide view of that uh, or a preview of that um, particular video and then to display it on the screen you just click it See, yes. why don't you talk to Robbie anymore? I do and off you go it's important to note in uh, all three of these spaces uh, down the bottom here you've got a search option uh, and inside that uh, a few options for how you will search. Um, so if I'm looking uh, for a song, I'll click on library tab and I'll enter in the title of that song. Um, say it's How Great Is Our God. Uh, and there it is. Just select that and it'll show up over here. Uh, alternatively, if you use this little arrow here, you'll get more options for how you search. Uh, you can see there you can search by title, uh, what's inside the slide, so what it contains, um, or both. I usually, as a default, have it set as, as both, so that if I type the first line, the splendor of the king, in here, oh, if I can spell it right, splen, there it is, straight up, comes up, splendor of the king, clothed in majesty. Um, and that's uh, also available inside the Bible, and media search areas. Below this area you'll see here we have the playlists area. Uh, this works, if you're familiar with iTunes, very much in the same way uh, in that it, uh, you can create a playlist uh, and attach particular um, media, or, so songs or uh, visuals uh, or Bible readings to a particular playlist. So. And this is really handy for us as we put together a service. So if you look here, I've got 7 p.m., uh, an example of a 7 p.m. service where I've got some songs. So Beautiful One, Milk and Honey, Holiness, Father I Adore You. Then we have a Bible reading and we have another song. And then we have some uh, notices in a video format and then another song at the end. And the beauty of this is that you can um, basically drag and drop. So if I grab How Great Is Our God and I decide I want that after the Bible reading, I can drop that in and there it is, it appears there. Um, the other thing that you can do that's really great here is just by clicking is drag things and move them around. So, if, you know, there's a last minute service order change. Uh, instead of uh, you just having to remember that on the fly when you're in the service, you can actually change Milk and Honey to be at the end of the service instead of at the top. Just like that. In order to create a new playlist, you just select down here the plus playlist, so or add playlist button, and that'll make a new one. Uh, let's call that uh, 9am, 
and press enter and then you've got the, a brand new fresh playlist where you can uh, drag and drop songs or bibles or whatever it is that you're wanting in the service into that space ready to fire. You'll also notice at the bottom here that there's the ability to create uh, folders. This is basically going to be used for uh, the staff to keep things nice and tidy. Uh, so it just works in the same way. Uh, you click and make a new folder. Let's call that folder 2. And uh, if I had some content in there, so say this refresh was in there, this training service was in there and so on, you'll see that uh, by clicking on this little arrow next to the folder it reveals or hides uh, what is it, the contents of that folder. That leads me to what we've got down here at the bottom underneath that point uh, is two more tabs. One is an announcement tab and one is a countdown tab. In the announcement tab uh, you might find that uh, if you wanted to tell someone their car lights were left on um, or make some kind of an announcement that hadn't been uh, pre-organized and put into a slide form for you, you could type that in. So let's say car uh, lights on and then ARW475 and in order to get that to fire up onto the screen uh, straight away you can click this show button before you do that though you might want to just have a look at the format of it so you can quickly format it by clicking here on the format tab uh, you might want to pop it up to the top here so you've got the top, middle and bottom formatting options just like that uh, you may want to center it or left align or right align I'll leave it right at the moment change the font and the size, let's go for 60 and then if we close that, then we can click our show button and that will show straight uh, up on the screen as you can see there. Uh, in order to clear that out, we just clear it out the normal way with the clear button up here. And uh, we can just highlight that and delete and we're ready for another announcement. The countdown tab, I'm not sure how much we'll use this to start with, but you can basically see here you've got a little clock tab. Uh, so you can count down timer or you can count down to a time. So let's select timer. If we say we're going to have three minutes of countdown, we can uh, again format just in the same way uh, as we did with the announcement. Uh, but if we just click on start, that'll fire on the screen and start to count down from three minutes. So at the start of the service, we're wanting uh, people to start to take their seats three minutes before we start. We could have that up on the screen. Uh, heard people joking about having that for the sermons, <laughs> um, whatever. Now we get to a reasonably important part of uh, the Pro Presenter training and that is to talk about these buttons that are up here at the top of the screen. Uh, you'll see that here the menu is called Clear uh, and you'll have the option for Clear All, Clear Text, Clear Background, Clear Audio. Uh, it's fairly self-explanatory. If uh, you click on the Clear All tab, everything that's currently on the screen or coming through ProPresenter will be cleared out. So if I put up a background and some text and I clear all, that will all disappear. If I do the same thing and just click Clear Text, just the text goes away. And the same thing if I click Background, Clear Background, the background itself just goes away. And uh, if we had some audio playing, uh, so, so we've got this audio here playing. I can clear that out by just clicking that audio tab there and uh, that keeps everything else in, intact. If we have that playing again and we do the clear all, everything clears off the screen. The next one along is the logo. So we've uh, got the ability to dump to, to bail to a logo uh, which is our chef community logo um, again you just clear that out with the clear all button uh, this tab here is the live view button uh, at the moment that's disabled we'll talk about that more later on 